Good morning, this is Bill Swan. I'm gonna describe various arrays in my backyard. This one is a four panel, two axis tractor, azimuth and elevation, and I'll go visit that shortly. This one um, is similar, it's four panel. Uh, it's got one motor on it, but it's closer to a two axis in the sense that there's a angle adjustment for the tilt for the sun at noon, and I'll detail a little bit about that too. This one is a just kind of a standard single axis tractor. Um, it's accurate, I guess, in the spring and fall, but in the winter and and in summer, it, there's a little bit of angle, angular uh, uh, difference between where the sun is and where where the uh, panels face and in the distance over there is a 16 panel two axis tracker it's of a type tilt tip and I'll explain that also good morning so this is a two axis tracker it's my most ambitious project because there's a lot of math there's two motors uh, an azimuth motor and an elevation actuator and I'll get closer these little motors right here, I'll hold my hand on it to give you a sense of the size. It's a 72 RPM motor that runs off 110 volts with a gear head on the top of it. And I think the ratio on this gear head is uh, 50 to one. That's the azimuth motor. You can see that chain in the ring that uh, caused the whole post uh, and panels to rotate east and west. And then right here is a uh, the uh, actuator that changes the elevation of the array. Uh, the control box, uh, there's a lever arm right here and this weldment right here um, houses the, the main spar which the panels are, are, are connected to. Talk about this eight panel ground mount shortly. The reason I bring it up is the microinverters on it, and I'll walk over here, are right there. They're from uh, 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 Neff Power, and they're, they're called four-in-one. Each, each box takes input from four panels. You can see the MC4 connectors right here and on that side. And I like it. It works well because, you know, Two inverters for, for eight panels. Uh, you know, if you did a string inverter, it, it would be dangerous uh, in the sense that you've got to combine voltages and it, it's better to generate 240 volt AC at right here. So this is a four panel array and this one's, I, I, I talk about it as a modified two axis. That is, there's one motor, but there's an adjustment a manual adjustment to tilt the array for wintertime or summertime. Right now it's tilted at a rather steep angle for the winter sun. Um, when I compare this to the one in the distance over there, you, you can't see it from here so much, but it's somewhat higher in the sky. And wind loads are an issue, always. Uh, the reason this is so uh, high is to avoid the bottom corner of the panels right here to hit the ground when it's adjusted for the winter time. And I'll, I'll get closer. So here's a picture of the, um, pardon the wiring, there's four microinverters there and the wiring's pretty messy. But you can see an actuator. Uh, the motor is right here, the, the rod, and there's, there's a torque arm right here that rotates it toward and away from me. But there's this linkage right here that is adjusted for uh, summer or winter. And, and as I mentioned, this is the uh, rather steep uh, adjustment for the winter sun. This is not exactly a two axis, but it's closer to a two axis than a single axis tractor. And, and, and it doesn't have the complexity of two motors. Uh, and that's, that's appropriate. I'll walk over here. And you can see the the actuator and you know my focus is trying to design something as inexpensively as possible and uh, 
you know, there, there's a PVC cap right there that has a resistor and a capacitor in it, which is required when you to determine the direction that the motor rotates. Um, okay, thanks. This is the third uh, tracker, uh, single axis tracker that I want to briefly mention. It, it, it could be up to 1200 watts, you know, given that, well, actually panels are bigger than uh, uh, 300 watts today. Um, so it could be an excess, well, it, it depends on the size of the inverter that you can match to it. Anyway, I'll walk around to the back Again, this, let me see. So this bar is the rotation axis right here. And there's the actuator with a torque arm right here. And this is again, one of those gearhead motors with a resistor and capacitor in it. And the control box that houses the uh, Arduino Uno and, and uh, a display and, and, and and, and, and a solid state switch and a real time clock. The real time clock is right here. But anyway, this uh, orients horizontal at nighttime and at a pre programmed time it goes east, and then every 15 minutes it moves a little bit to uh, track the sun. And you know, I don't calculate the position of the sun, it's it, close is close enough, and, and, and this works just fine. And, and these are probably the most economically. Uh, competitive construction costs um, as compared to uh, um, the other ones, uh, especially this this huge one right here. I'll talk about that in a minute. Bill Swan again. So this is a 16 panel tracker. It's called a tilt tip tracker. Um, there's a book called Power from the Sun. It's online and in it, they, sh they do the math for calculating the azimuth and elevation of the sun, but they also do the conversions for the angles that you need to convert as L to, in this case, tilt tip. It tilts east to west, and there's an actuator. I'll show you that in a moment. moment. And, um, and, but then to compensate for the height of the sun at noon, all the panels tilt. Uh, toward or away from me. Um, let me get closer. So there's the, uh, the actuator, and you can see a pillow block bearing below that motor. This actuator goes down to the ground because the stroke is pretty long, and there's one of those gearhead motors. Um, you know, this motor is probably two watts, so, you know, the idea that... Um, you spend a lot of energy moving something is, is 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 fallacious. Anyway, looking at the the area up here, you can see these spars to which the panels are rotated. And there's a piece of looks like six by six uh, square tubing that is the backbone of the whole thing. And that motor up there uh, turns a lead screw, and there's a nut on the lead screw, and the nut pushes that rod up top. You can't see it very well, but that rod is, is actually connected with a lever to each of these spars. So that, that's how the, the uh, tilt actuator happens. Um, I would never build one of these again because, you know, there's a lot of steel in it, a lot of construction costs. Uh, four of those, same wattage, would be vastly less expensive than this one. In addition to which, you can see this one's somewhat higher and wind loads are always an issue, especially in Houston with hurricanes. Um, anyway, this, this uh, and of course I use microinverters. You can see some in-phase microinverters on there. Anyway, if there are any questions, um, Ping me and I'll, I'll answer them. Thank you.